into the bar T string for this season. Let's watch and see all the action. And look at Hawks the bear back run. Come on, hold tight, shake that rock and roll. Here we go. Yeah, that is where your sign is up. Needs to nudge his way into that top 15 to make it to the NFR. Let's watch him. Come on. On the horse call, the tail. Hey, oh, yeah. Come on, Campbell. Oh, my. Come on, audience. I can't hear you. There you go. Scores in a moment. Tim O'Connell, good bucking horse rider out of the Midwest in Iowa. As we'll take a look and see who's going to be the scoring for that last cowboy. We've got a total of 83 points out here tonight. 83. This guy is tough. Let's watch him. Tumbaroomba, Australia. Benny Ho! Come on, Benny! Yeah, buddy, come on! Come on! Oh, my. Oh, my. I see a yellow. Flag. I'm going to look down and see what the judges have to say. Didn't have the heels of his boots high over the horse's shoulders. That first jump out's going to receive a no score tonight. All he's going to get is your applause. How about being generous, please? Uh, packaging, Wrangler Insurance, Tires West, Le Schwab, and here he comes backing out of there. Your cowboy, Kayman, in Utah. We'll check our scores in just a moment, so stand by for this cowboy. 1 to 25 for the bucking horse, 1 to 25 for the cowboy. Each judge has 50 points to play with. A total perfect score could be a total of 100. We've got a total 38 with an option. 38 with an option. Uh, he can take the score or take the option of a rerun in the circuit right now. He's an electrician by trade, graduate of Idaho State University. Here he comes. Come on. with his knees held high. He says, let me try the bucket horse outside tonight. Bring it to me. Come on. Help him. Look at you. Come on, Trent. Good cowboy ride. Yes, sir. I'll tell you, that young man had a good teacher. His daddy was a good bareback and saddle bronc riding cowboy. And once again, take a look down and see what the judges thought about all that. Give the kid a hand. Show me the board, boy. Show me the board. And the scores will be at 83. 83. 83 points. That's unofficially going to tie for the 83 tonight. you got to get him pumped up. Come on. Come on. Come on. Tonight, but we 
we've had two Cowboys in this event sponsored by Cable One with the time scores of 83 points. Tim O'Connell of Swindle, Iowa and Trenton Montero of Winnemucca, Nevada. If you like the bareback riding, let's give him a hand. What do you say? Cowboy Richmond champion of the Woodlands, Texas, and on Rock and Ruby. That horse, of course, Trevor Montero had the other night for a score of 83. Let's watch and see what they're going to give that cowboy out here tonight. In the lead is an 88 from Mo Heaton last night, a cowboy from Utah. Let's check and see who's going to be next momentarily, but let's get that score. And we have a 79. 79. Good bucking horse ride. Golden Hooper on Miss Lily Roan. Keep in mind, an 88 is in the lead. Let's see if he can come close. Come on. Help him on this good looking road horse. Miss Lily Roan. Dylan Hooper. That thunder sounds. All they want to hear is the sound of the pickup men running in to try to get them off that horse and on the ground safely. And you can pay him with a round of applause out here tonight. Come on, what do you say? Tilden Hooper of Carthage, Texas. Score on the way. Let's see what our man's got down below, and it's a total of 79. 79 for Tilden Hooper. Taylor Price of Huntsville, Texas on the bad chance. They placed on this horse here before. Let's watch and see what happens out here tonight. Good looking bucket horse ride. Come on. Look at here. Oh yeah. I can't hear the South Enders over there tonight. Come on. out here this evening and the rescue rangers the ram pickup men are going to show him out of the arena and the score we've got a total of 82 out here 82 for that last cowboy this cowboy the top bareback rookie in 2010 he's on 10-0 pass look at here come on horses at us tonight from the Barkey Rodeo Company. Ty Brewer of Mandan, North Dakota finishing up on Tenno Pass. Scores down below. Let's get it added up and we've got a total of 82. Another good one. 82. And now she gets that glove hand in that bareback rigging and about all set to go for the gate in the outside. Here we go. Let's go. Cody Demers. Come on, Cody. Cowboy likes better than to have a good fucking horse underneath him. Cody Demers of Kimberly, Idaho. Uh, he's tripped in the motor in the circuit right now. A good one right there. On the horse called the Rose. Thank you, Cody. Excellent job. Score? 38 with an option. Option over rewrite. Thank you, judges. Appreciate that. 38 with an option. They're going to see if he gets a chance to take the option of the re-ride or the scores and knowing Cody, I think he'll be back here a little bit later on. You must have your bifocals on. I've got trifocals, my yeah. friend. Here we go! Oh, yeah, play! Come on! Oh, oh, I love it! Oh, 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 since they started sending horses to the NFR, they've sent over 550 horses and bulls to the National Finals Rodeo, the best. Our score is coming up for that last cowboy, and we've got another 82 out here tonight. 82, man. They're stuck in the horse, 1 to 25 for the cowboy. Each judge has 50 points to play with, a total perfect 100. Come on! Oh my, hey, here we are again, 82! He's got a lot of 
packing into the backcountry. Let's take a look at him right now in the bare back line tonight. George Gillespie in the park. Come on, George. Come on, George. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Woo-ha. People won our bare back sponsor. Wow. This has been a bare back ride tonight. Wild and woolly herb. Let's see what they're going to give this last ride. George Gillespie, the fourth. Scorekeeper's down there running him ragged. 81! 81 for George Gillespie out here tonight. Oh, oh, oh my! He knows a lot is on the line. He knows that he's got to have better than an 88 to take the lead. Let's watch him on the national final theater. Come on, Casey! Come on, Casey! Everybody get in! does not fall far from the tree and ladies and gentlemen the score 87 87 My. I don't know about y'all but I'm tired out after that bareback ride and if everybody enjoyed it let's have a great big round of applause for our cowboys and these fucking horses what do you say man table one seconds on to it. He left a little too early and broke that barrier, so there's a penalty and the total time out here tonight will be 13 and he can't 8. leave until the rider sends him. Here we go. Alright, here we are with our man Jake Ashworth. Come on, Jake. Come on. Yeah, buddy. Crunch time. Crunch time. Nice run. Let's see what it's going to be on the watch out here tonight. He's going to have the lead without any penalties. Five and three, audience. Five and three. Oh, you can do better than that, Grandstand. I know you can. Get that steer's head up and pointed right at the gate. Right he says, there. yeah, now's the time. Come on, help him. He's out of him. Come on, Andy. Go, go. Got him. Oh, Randy, that barrier again. What did he do wrong so that he hit that barrier wrong? You know what? When he nodded, Zeph, that steer just kind of set back and didn't leave, and he was anticipating the steer leaving. So when he did move, he went with him. He just left a little early. I tell you, if you're not riding at that barrier, you're not going to win that. And they're going to break him once in a while because you've got to push the line. All right, 14 and 5 is the time. 14 and we can do out here this evening. He's not going to waste any time. Let's watch the run from Louisiana. Yeah, come on. A five and four is going to put him in second place. A five and four. How about it, folks? I can't hear you. Out of work. Out of work. Did he bring them horses to town? He nodded. He's out. No, it's near running to the left. Got to get around. Yeah, he's going to catch him. No. Uh oh. Woo. He gave it the old pro tryout here. How about everybody? A wild bunch and everybody else give him a round of applause. Uh, he's taking care of all the bones and bruises. Thank you, Dr. Here we go. Oh, my. Okay, Randy, give us a full by blow account what happened there. You know, bad drop. I think this steer left, he got out, and the steer just kind of seen him riding up. His hands are rode up on him, and he just... The gallon of diesel driving around. <laughs> You're out. Oh, my. You know, Rick, you got one left. Yeah. Got it. Woo. All right, good job. James Smith, Honeyville, Utah, and the time tonight is 5-5, five and five. so we've got a 5-3, five, 5-4, five, and a 5-5. Five, five. Now let's talk about what he did right. You know, he done everything right. That steer just run a little harder than anybody else. He might have been just a little late at the line, but he got the steer. Steer just a little stouter, pushed him a little farther, but when he changed direction, he ran with your choice at the NFR. Some of the great guys out here tonight will tell you this right guy. now. Here's Hunter Cure. time but Randy tell us a little bit about why did that hip go the other way you know what when he caught that steer he dropped his head right on the ground and he lost momentum he quit pushing on him so he just kind of had to manhandle him around he didn't get that nose picked up near size what he wanted to so he kind of fell on his belly all right yeah yeah the best in the west oh this guy's got a here good we go. steer right here yeah do it oh, wow. Wow. Randy all 
of a sudden I saw the hip pockets kind of floating in midair. What happened? You know, he caught that steer and wanted to push on him, and I think his knees kind of locked up. He caught his feet in the ground, and the steer kept it going as he turned around and he slipped that inside horn. And it was a Suits and ties for the wild cow riding. I've never seen anything like that. Look out, here we go. Cowboy wants to build it up. Cowboy has it. Come on. Jason Boyd, go. And the time for Jason Floyd, six and six out here this evening, six and six. That's going to mean that Jake Ashworth with a time of 5-3 turns in the top run tonight, leading our steer wrestling contest audience. Let's give all the Bulldoggers a great big round of applause. What do you say? Come on. How about everybody on that south end? find anybody any better they do the best job with the music and all the sound boys congratulations we appreciate it oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah let's take a look at the time right now for ryan shaw ladies and gentlemen forget the five three in first place let's put a four three out there Eyes on that cowboy's head. He'll nod once and that's all it. There it is. Oh, yeah. Come on. Come on. Ricky, a little slow in the hip coming down. A little slow. You know, the steer kind of slowed down, got close to round. He didn't quite get that nose up high enough to get a clean fall, but it was a good run. But he had a second place run with a 4.9 out here tonight, audience. How about it? Let's give him a nice hand. I can't hear the grandstand. Where are you? Texas Cowboy six for the world title. I want to say this kid is good. Finished 14th for the world last year. Four times, Randy. This guy's been to the national finals. He's a good one. Wow, that's working right. This nice battle the horse there. Hey, by the way, Randy, you missed out on a lot of goodies. We had Doctor History, better known as Doctor Ken Turner, bring up a whole box full of maple bars with bacon on them. And then we had Randy Wink from Tires West. Let's four three is out on top. Let's see if he can take a run at the line and not break that barrier. He's in the money hole. Help him! Oh, no. oh, no. Randy, it looks so good, and then all of a sudden that left leg kind of flopped out to the side. Yeah, you know, that steer kind of stopped. He didn't get that left leg up under him to pick him up, and he just kind of rolled over. Don't oh my! Six seconds flat for Matt Reeves is going to move us over now to the next man. You know what? They just keep him in really good shape, and they buy a horse they know can take the use. Alright, here we go. Look at this guy. Now, what's called? Oh, yeah. Oh, money hole. That's right. Oh, yes, yes. Let's take a look. Hey, folks. Folks, it's Saturday night. It's championship night. How about raising the rope for a 4-2? Oh, yeah. The man from Montana, Timmy Sperry going to move us back so now. Let's hope and pray that he can have a good run out here tonight. Tanner Stanger from North Colorado. Come on, Tanner. Put your legs on. Hold up, cowboy. I'm happy. I'm looking for that long-legged Murtaugh cowboy. And the time is five seconds flat. How about paying him off? Five flat. Tanner Stanger. Looking good, Tanner. How good can you get that steer? You know, Matt. 
10 inches to a foot. He just got to make a bit with it. Oh, my. to be the bearer of bad tidings. He broke the barrier. He would have had four flat, ends up being 14 flat. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a nice round of applause to all of our Bulldoggers out here tonight. My oh my. Excellent run. Jimmy Sparing, Helena Montana with the 4-2. Looks like he's going to take home the number one paycheck. If you like what happened tonight, give them all a round of applause.
Johnson and Cody Jones. Sponsored by Jennifer Ranches. How about a big hand for our wild cow riding tonight? Come on, Cassie County!
but it's not going to be to any avail, and they're going to go out of here with only what you decide to pay them tonight. The minor boys out of Ellensburg in no time. Thank you. Right now, come on. Steers head looking at the gate. Come on, come on, come on. Taking a long reach. Healer's there. Ellie. Never did get that loop underneath for both feet to step in it. So it's going to be a plus five for the team of Sterling Smith and Ty Bach. And with the penalty, we have a total time of 10 and 2. 10 and 2. All right, guys, let's get him right there. Takes that head catch, turns him off. Healer's there. The five second penalty for their run out here tonight. Eric Rogers and Corey Petska in the time. 10 and 3 with that penalty. 10 and 3 with that penalty. On deck, Jimmy Tanner and Sean Harris. Takes that head catch, turns him off. Healer right there. Check time, got it. Well, I mean that healer, Jay Carroll, right there on the break. Had to check his horse up and come right back into that steer. Great job. And ladies and gentlemen, what kind of a crowd would cheer for a 4.5? Everybody wear a pink shirt in honor of breast cancer awareness. Head catch is there. And in no time, that healer saw it. Wasn't going to work. It was just over one horn. And so he's just loaded with a lot of power, ready to come out and take that long shot. Have that big swing. And it's going to be a no time for Jones and Tibbetts. Ladies and gentlemen, your applause, if you would. Thank them. All right. Go. Followed them by Casey Brunson and Stoney Fred. So let's watch them rope right now. Head catch is there. Cody's there. Dally time. Oh, oh. Cowboys made it look good and easy at the time. Five and one. And the official time is kept up here with our timers. And then we'll also have that time up on our United Dairy Universal getting all set. In behind that line. Says, yeah, boys, let's go. Come on, Casey. One, two, let him turn. Tony Fred in there for the big belly, makes it look easy. Makes it look easy as he comes in on the corner, snares two feet in the time. Six and four, six and four. Twice he's been to the national finals, so let's watch and see what these guys can do. Charlie Crawford, head catch, Ryan Heels. Woo! Ah. Ladies and gentlemen, now we're going to explain what happened there. That was called a crossfire, and that is a no time. And a crossfire means the steer must change direction and be going the opposite way before the healer can go ahead and take that loop. He shot a little bit too quick. The bullets came out of the gun. Good catch, but no time. Let's give him a round of applause, if you would, please. All right, here comes Cuff for that head catch, throws it out. Oh, my, you won't see that happen a lot. I'll tell you, if ever, not very often to miss with those guys. Let's give them a round of thank you for coming here to Burley, Idaho tonight. Would you please, Cuff Cooper and Trey Johnson. Pueblo, West Colorado. Yeah, right here. Come on, we got to get one. Jake for that head catch. Long, long reach. Heaters on the high. Five second penalty in the field and the total time with the penalty is a 10 and 5. Thank you for coming to Burley, ladies and gentlemen. A 10 and 5. Get the ropes out of our hand for Landon McClory and J.W. Borrego. Long reach here. He almost out of sight. Wow. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, a 4.6. Now, for those of us that rope, you saw the man on the paint horse. He almost went right on by. He literally didn't have anything to look at except that horse's ears. Kind of threw it underneath that horse's neck and really put it on two feet. Four and six puts them in the money in second place right now. They're currently number one in the wilderness circuit. Let's see what they can get done out here tonight. Uh -huh. No, they've got to be in a hurry. No, they've got to be in a hurry and it's no time. Come on, Wild Bunch, give them a thank you just the same, would you please? Well, I tell you, there's a lot of ropings going on during the course of the summer. Wrangler ropings and the world. And then when you nod, the race is on. Let's see what happens right here. Head catch on the way, not going to find the mark. And another team by Taco Bandito. We've had it changed already. A 4-6 is going to jump into second place. There's that long reach for the hat. And it looks like they've only got one horn. And we have hit a rash. 
So four in a row, the steam roping, calf roping, doesn't make any difference. And old Brent Newman on the other side, he just loves to come out and throw it. He'll get him. Let's turn him right here, take the shot and go to the horn. And we are going to have a no time out here this evening. No time. They never did stretch and face. When he tucks that rope up underneath his arm, he's all set to take the knot. Let's see what he can get done out here tonight. Head catch is on the way. Healer's right there. Takes that extra swing. Tally up. And a five-second penalty. Five-second penalty for Farias and Wilson. And the time, including the five out here this evening, is a ten and three. Ten and three. And they ended up no time. Thank you. Illegal head catch. Thank you. And they're on third place money. So let's see if they can't get a little bit of the action out here tonight. Come on, Steve. Right up there, gallop up. And uh, looks like he's just going to let that thing sail. It is not a header's night out here tonight. I don't think I've been to a rodeo all this year where we've had this many no times in a row. We've got a chance. I know. I remember the old days with all the flour up on the roof. <laughs> I can't believe it. Never seen anything like it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine straight misses, but we did have a four-six tonight by Landon McLaurin and J.W. Borrego moves them into second place. Audience, how about that's all to do? On the other side, Tommy Zuniga is known as one of the quickest healers on that corner in the road today. Let's watch and see. There it is. I told you these guys are good. I told you they're quick, and I told you I want some applause. So go ahead. Four nine. Thank you, Allison. Fool no, knows where the money hole is. He knows he's got to get it out of his hand. Knows he's got to get his dallies and take it right toward the left. This cowboy there on the hip, throw it underneath. Dally time. That's what we call a pantyhose. He had that roll clear up the hocks onto the hip, and that is a clean catch for a good run of five and five. Give them a nice hand out here tonight. Five and five. Number four, five, Colby Sidaway and Shay Carroll are out on top. One swing, two swing, let it go. Knew he had to be in a hurry. Knew he had to be in a hurry, and there's no margin for error. You got to get it out of your hands in a big rush. And those guys are going to go out of here with only your applause. Be generous, please, if you would. It's been a blessing right here at this Cassius County Fair and Pro Rodeo. Here we go, last run tonight. Take that head catch. Healers right there underneath. Oh, oh, oh my! Now the flag is dropped, but we also look over to the line and the barrier line, and there was a broken barrier that left too soon. And the total time is a 16 and 4. 16 and 4. I believe that's going to wrap up our team roll for the night. All you have to do is tell them thank you. I know they'd appreciate it. Give them a nice hand out here, would you please? Fast run of the night, Bad Sherwood and Tom Zuniga with a 4-9. That's going to come in about third place money. Let's give them all a thank you, if you would, please. Good job. They know what they're doing. They're going out there and trying to turn them in that four-second hole. And tonight, another head catch miss. Unbelievable. Five in a row. Five. Cowboy down to the turf here at this arena. Let's go ahead and thank him for the effort. Sam Harper, Paradise Valley, Nevada. They take pride in their livestock. Here we go. Fancy pass. Come on. He will buck hard. Hotcha! Yes, sir! Come on! Audience, I can't hear you! Oh, yeah! Oh, brilliant, Cowboy! I love it. Rosewood, Australia. Tim Hammond. He wants to hear some noise from the Wild Bunch and everybody else. Where are you? There you go. There you go. Scores on the way. Let's see.
see what we got here. 69, 69 for the Aussie. Jesse Wright, currently third for the world title, last year's world champion. Jesse Wright all finished up. Let's check again with our judges down below for our scoring. We've got a total of 82 points tonight. 82. Harold Price and Associates, Roberts Roofing and Construction. We'll tell you more in a moment right now. Here's your cowboy. Heath Chalmers, Snyder, Texas. Look at here. Roll on. That cowboy on one call, the head honcho out here tonight. Right down there on the south end where he can hear your applause, he's all finished and now it's up to our judges. 1 to 25 for the Bucket Horse, 1 to 25 for the Cowboy and we'll take a look and get our scores tallied right now. And the total is, young man, what have you got on the board tonight? It is 67, 67 for Heath Chalmers. Thank you. First you gotta go the full eight seconds. This Here Cowboy go. taking yeah. everything Woo! he can. Come on, big hopper. Big hopper kind of circling out there to the left and with those big hops, puts that cowboy right on the seat of his Wranglers. Audience, pay him off if you would for the effort out here tonight. Seat audience, if you want him to ride, pump him up a little bit. Jake rides, Milford, Utah! Yeah! Come on! Oh yeah! That old horse got to do something at him right there in the middle of the pen and then goes on. Bucking. That one's called misperception out here this evening. And if you like what he did, you just go right ahead and pay him off with a round of applause. Jake Wright, currently, as I said, 14th for the world title coming in here. Let's see what our judges are going to give him. And the total score is a 78. 78 for Jake Wright. Now he says, I'm all set. Let's help him right now. Alex Wright. Good looking horse. very often with the Wright brothers and I think that deserves a special round of applause. Thank them for being here. Oh, championship this year. Lay back, take the deep seat, ladies and gentlemen. Come on on Lulabelle. Here we go. Yeah, come on. Well, I'll tell you what, 36 years of age, has not lost a shot. Here he goes on the horse of Lulabelle. Cody Wright. Yes, sir. If you liked what he did, you just go ahead and tell him about it. He's on the ground. He can hear it. Let's go down the way. Let's see what we got on the board. Oh, my. Audience in Burley. What did you like it? The right boys up and ready to help him. How about the wild bucks tonight? Here we go! Sides. Come on, score man, let's go. And the score is 79 79. Good way to start. Moves him unofficially in the third place. We got Sigan pull right over the horse's head. Let's take a look and see what he can do out here tonight. Come on, Cowboys. for that eight seconds of work tonight except your applause. Audience, come on, be generous to him, please. Thank you, Mike. 
Bluegrass National Finals Bucket Horse Take the DC Cowboys. Here we go. Yeah. They are out of there. Judges, I'm going to ask. I saw a flag. Mr. Knox. Now the rule book says you got to have the heels of your boots high in the neck area. That first jump out of the chute until the horse's front feet hit the ground. He did not. All he's going to get is your applause. Be generous, please. No score for Shane Odenbach out here this evening. All right. Moment of truth. He says, yeah, I'm ready. Outside, let's hear what he can do. All right, audience. Look at it, family. Boogity, boogity, boogity. Here we go. Oh, my. going to the left in that big circle for that cowboy from Ferndale, California. And we'll just wait and see what the judges thought about that for his eight seconds workout here this evening. Remember, 86 last night from Cody Wright is still in the lead, and our score's on the way right now. We've got a total of 63. 63 points for Ad Bugginick tonight. The family here this evening. All right, he says, I'm ready. Come on, let's have it. Shoulders all the way back to the camel boards as often as possible during that eight second ride. South Enders, he's down by you. How about paying him off? Good ride out here this evening. Thank you. All right, Cole Hammaker. Scores on the way, and we have 75 75 for Gold on his brother, world champion 82. That's what everybody's gunning for tonight. Here comes Tyler Davis. Weighing in at about 1,350 pounds. How about you guys and gals giving that kid a nice round of applause? Tyler Vieja. Big Matt. Oh, yeah. Big Matt John. Way to go. Atkinson Sound Company. None better than Daryl up here. I'll tell you, Big Matt John is right. Our scorekeeper, 81. 81 points for Tyler Vieja. Inside the shooting on the horse with the buck brain gathered up and says, let me have it. Let me have it. Once again, the judges, 1 to 25 for the Cowboy, 1 to 25 for the Buck and Horse. Each judge has 50 points to play with. We'll see where we're headed in a moment and also have our score as this Cowboy's got it. And it's a total of 67 for Landon Miko. 6-7 puts us over. Take the deep seat, Cowboy. Here we go, audience, your turn. should have ended had he gone the full eight, but no disgrace to come off of that bucking horse called Lulabelle. You go right ahead and thank him for the effort if you will, please. Chance to get crunched inside that sheet gate. He said, let me have him outside tonight. Come on, let's give him a little help. Oh. Levi, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Stay with him, Levi. Right. said, uh-uh, I'm not going any further on this bus. But he stayed right in there, and I think that's worth an extra special round of applause for him. Come on, give him a hand. We got better. Now, here's the deal. Our judges just ran over, and they said this cowboy has the option of a rewrite if he wants it. He has a 66 with the option of a rewrite. We'll see what he's going to do. And he's on a national final fucking horse call, the son of Sadie. Let's help him outside tonight. Come on, Jared. Come on. Come on. All right. Jared, right on. Looking good, Jared. Oh, he was hanging and rattling, but all of a sudden that horse went one way and Jared went the other. Let's give him a nice hand for the effort out here tonight, would you please? Cody DeBeers. All set on his re-ride tonight. 
Remember, we had so far tonight an 87 by Casey Hill. Let's watch and see. Checking in for six seconds. Everything looks okay. Monty Van Komen riding forward. Everything's all right. Nine and six takes the lead. Uh, he's ready. Here he comes. Let's help the Utah Cowboy. Pitch that slack. Now got to get him up. Put him on the ground. He can be in a hurry right here. Tie, 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 tie. Got him. All right. Now he's not going to waste any time. Once he gets everything tied, he's going to kind of paddle foot it back over to that horse and get back up there. Get slack in the rope so that judge can inspect the tie. And the time is, oh my, ladies and gentlemen, an 8-9 out here tonight. 8-9. How about those South Enders? Are you having a good time over here tonight? That have ever won the all-around title from being east of the Mississippi River. At that time, he lived in Georgia. Let's watch him right now. Oh, no. When he went to pitch that slack, it actually came right back up over the neck, over the nose, and slid right off that calf's neck. And so the man that won it here a year ago is not going to have a chance for the deja vu all over again. Let's give him a thank you for the effort, Brian Jarrett. Over that box, he says, yes, I'm all ready. This big gray horse comes a galloping out there. He'll take that long shot. Very smooth, long-legged cowboy out here this evening trying to get this calf down on his side. Audience, you got to help a little bit. One, two, and got him tied. Not exactly what he wanted. He had a little bit of a calf wrestling out there for a while. Finally gets him over on his side. The cowboy from Sterling City, Texas, in the time of 14 seconds flat. 14 seconds flat. Everything is official. Move us over to E.J. Roberts, Stephenville. So far tonight, everybody's got out of there clean. Let's watch this man go to work. Little red calf, horse backing into that loop. He's got everything right there. Picks him up, puts him down. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Little bit of a problem right there. Trying to get that pig and string around that outstretched leg and then go ahead with the other two legs. And let's see what they've got on the watches out here tonight. It looks like a 10 and 1. 10 and 1 will be the time out here this evening for the Cowboy E.J. Roberts out of Stephenville, Texas. You're not listening to me. I know. Here we go. Oh, yeah. oh, oh Randy. He just had it over the years, and that's all the further it went. No time for Chant to Forest, Wheatland, California. As Roger Nanella of Plymouth Falls, Oregon is going to be next. He might take this calf tonight. What do you think? Here we go. Come on, come, come on, on, Roger. Get right up there. Oh, no, 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 no. no. A little short. A little short. You know what? I'll tell you what, Randy. Next guy coming up happens to be a guy that's not only from our circuit. You better believe it. He's got a good horse and a lot of talent. Come on, Nate. Oh, no. I can't believe it. We've had three goose eggs in a row from some of the top contenders in this tie-down event. No time for Nate Baldwin. That's going to put us now. He's always had good horses. And he's 11th for the world title right now. It jumps right out on that one. Come on, Shane, hurry. Oh, missed the slack, and that's going to cost him possibly a ton of money. Audience, please pay him off with a round of applause. Shane Slack. He was right there. Missed that slack, or missed that flank, I should say. And then that's going to cost him some extra time with a time of 11 and 5. And it's now official 11 and 5. Pay the man, pay all of our calf ropers out here for this evening. 
11 and 5, and Clint Robinson's going to take kind of a victory lap of 8 and 9 out here tonight. Eight and Once again, my thanks go to Atkinson Sound. Outstanding. Point and Darrell, the rest of the crew, we really thank you. My Darrell, just over the eyes. Just over the eyes, and it never did settle over his neck, and so therefore Ryan Yamachi is going to go out of here with a no time tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, your thank yous to that cowboy, if you would please. No time to answer any other time events. You break that barrier, you're going to have a 10 second penalty added on to your total time at the end of the run. This kid is good, this kid is quick. Let's watch him right now. Former great football player, tie those scouts in our Time. Ladies and gentlemen, the time is an 8-7 out here this evening. 8-7. Now just a minute, that just beat that 8-9, and is that the best Burley Idaho can do for a top time tonight? Come on, one more time. They're going to rope here tonight. Chase Williams of Stephenville, Texas. In a hurry. Bill to it. He's got to get down there and get a hold of him right now and hustle up. Cross those legs. Tie, 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 tie. Oh, Randy. Thank you. Yeah. You know, Randy, what happened right there? It looked like that pig and string got caught in the new claws a little bit. You saw it closer than I did. Yeah, we did, but when he gathered that cap, I've been straight just a little bit coming across. He's trying to gather him up. Didn't work. Nice try, Cowboy. All right, well, he would have been rolling towards that fast time, and he ends up with a time tonight of 13 seconds flat. Go ahead and pay him with a round of applause just the same, would you? His dad, a very good friend of mine, Roy Cooper, originally out of that Oklahoma country. Come on, come stick it on him. Get off and get to working. This kid doesn't know anything else except going for first place. Lost that first leg and string, had to restring it, and pulls it tight. You won't see many bobbles, but what happened out there? He had first pick and string, the loop came closed, he had to reach down, grab it over, put it over on the three legs and retie. And the time tonight, including a barrier penalty and a no time is assessed because that calf got up. It happens to the best in the business. And I think Burley and everybody in Cashew County should give this guy thank you for coming to the Cashew County Fair. Now this cowboy Jay Cooper wants to take home a paycheck, wants to make some money, wants to have some better luck than what's happened out here tonight. That loop all of a sudden came closed, he had to just come out, he's not going to take a throw. What the in Texas can do? Get that ready to go, right there, that one, get it Oh yeah, 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 now he broke him a little deep, let's see what happens as he picks him up, puts him on the ground, come on audience on the grandstand, time it! Randy, he's kind of hoping for some insurance out there. He only took one wrap and it didn't pay off. It did not pay off. That calf breaks the tie and he's going to go out of here with a no time. I cannot believe it. You talk about snake bit tonight, Mr. Moore. And then spread out of the circuit and taking a lot of money elsewhere, too. Let's watch him. Come on, Rob. Get up there on that gray horse and roll. Oh, my. Way down the pit. Well, I'm going to need a set of binoculars, Randy. You help me down there. Looks like he's got the pin and string on the front legs and trying to bring up the back, too, and then go ahead and cross him over. Get it tied up to that string a little bit. Yeah. Come on. Time to practice run there, man. Get down, Old Gray. A long way down the pin, and I'll guarantee you in the next rodeo, Old Gray's going to come out a little quicker. <laughs> How much do you want to bet? I think so. Well, it looks like we're going to have a total time of 19 and 3. 19 and 3. That's going to put Joe Parsons, Morana, Arizona. Yes, right there. Take the shot in the money hole. Come on, Joseph. You got to hurry right there. Had to wait just a second or two to redo and replank that gap. And now puts him on the ground and goes ahead with the tie. Joe Parsons out of Morana. And we'll take a look at our stopwatches and our time. And that cowboy's got to remount that horse, get slack in the rope for six seconds as our field judge rides up, checks the tie, and makes sure everything's A-OK -okay and official. It looks like it's going to be a 12 and 5 out here this evening. A 12 and 5 is the time. You're going to have 10 seconds added on to your total time. Don't want that. This cowboy finished 17th for the world last year. Let's watch and see what he can get done. Big, tall, lanky Texas cowboy out here tonight on this black cab. Gets him on the ground. Audience, I can't hear you. Help, help, help. You 
better believe it. Looking smoking good out here tonight. Oh my, what way to start things off if everything stays tied with our judge looking at that tie for six seconds. Nine and eight tonight, nine and eight. Give him a nice thank you if you would please. Nine and eight, Randy's down there. He used to be an old cap over. <laughs> oh man, watch out, here we go. Tyson Durfee, pitch that slack. This cowboy's off and running. Let's see if he can get him up, pick him on the ground. Now let's go. Big and spring trouble out here tonight for Tyson Durfee. And he's gonna go ahead and probably treat this as a practice run out here in the arena tonight, unfortunately. We'll check it out on the watch, check it out with the judge as he looks at his stopwatch before we go any further. And it looks like all is gonna be well for an official time tonight of 14 and two. 14 you know, and 2. Longer, Gil. That's kind of that. You gotta have a horse that's fishing. That makes it work. All right, watch All this right guy. let's watch this guy, Raleigh Imachi of Drake's Idaho. I know his dad. This is a real good kid right here. Let's wish him well. Raleigh Imachi in the top 15 for the Wilderness Circuit right now. Yes. Gets him on the ground. How about the audience? Give him a round of applause, if you would, please. Good man right there, Raleigh Imachi of Grace Idaho. Great family, too, by the way. And this event sponsored by Tepper Country. Let's make sure that cap's going to stay tied. Judge is going to ride over and inspect it. We've got two really good judges here, Randy. They're really watchful. Well, these guys are really, really experienced, doing an excellent job here for us this year. Ten and eight is the time. Ten and eight. Week next week. <laughs> okay. Here we go. All right. This is Travis Kornberg, Annabella, Utah. Great big tall lanky cowboy. Good all-around roper. He's having trouble trying to get him down. Audience, come on. Sal Bender's everybody. Well, I mean, once he gets everything taken care of, it's all over. Barrier problem, however, and we're going to add 10 seconds onto it tonight. Add 10 onto the total time, and we'll take a look and see what it's going to be. I think it's going to be a total time of 20 and 5. 20 and 5. For he also, as I mentioned a moment ago, has been to the NFR. He's been in the big show. He knows exactly what to do and how to get it done. You can watch this cowboy right now down to this calf. He's trying to get a hold of that plank and get him on the ground. Lots of problems right here. Now, Randy, you can comment on that a little bit. He overplanked that calf, didn't he? He picked that calf up and he pushed him away from him and said, pull him back. He yeah. got legs back underneath him a little bit. Boy, that was exactly what he didn't want to have happen to make money win and run out here tonight. So we want to th say thank you to him just the same. And we'll take a look at the watches right now. See what he's got. Also, our judge passing judgment on the tie. And it's going to be a total tonight of 18 seconds flat. 18 seconds flat. Thank you. Again, our thanks go to Atkinson Sound, Daryl, and Hoyt, the whole crew. Man, they are so easy to work with. We appreciate them. Oh, yeah. Come on, Justin. You're in that money hole. Get it. Pick him up. Audience, this might be one. the walk he is not a happy camper he stumbled about two times in the randy yeah i kind of got the speed jam right there spinning yeah. on. he was really putting the turkey in his mouth and all of a sudden the fork stabbed him let's check it out and the time is going to be a nine six now randy i'm going to estimate that had he not had those bobbles he'd have been down in the eights easy he could have got a check there pretty handy he was in the right place Nine and six, ladies and gentlemen, if you've enjoyed this tie-down event, let's give them all a nice round of applause out here tonight, please, would you? What do you say? Nine and six. She's always been a tough girl racer, and a good, big, good-looking gray horse underneath her out here tonight. Audience, I want some noise. Let's help her. First to go in our barrel racing tonight. Right now, the daughter, Jolie Lottery Jordan, also Kingman, Arizona. Used to do the rodeo down there at Kingman. Andy Devine days. A lot of fun. Good team roping country. Here comes Jolie Lottery Jordan. And then we'll drop down to Deanna Stimson of Paul, Idaho. She's all ready. Saw a great horse, now we're seeing kind of a done horse coming on in here tonight. Let's get around that first one. It stays up. Two rights to the left or two left to the right. Running that clover leaf. Come on. Come on, audience. I can't hear you. Cover home. Cover home. Woo! Yeah. 1746. New leader. 
1746. That'll put us over to Deanna Stimson, Wall, Idaho, followed then by Brittany Posey, and then Christina Richmond. We got the best in the West here. Let's watch a little cowgirl from down the road at Ball. She is probably stage struck, but let's give her a round of applause. Come on, she can run these barrels. She's going to start over here. I'll guarantee you this little blonde cowgirl's got a good little horse. Oh, no crashes in the number two. But you're going to see a lot more of her. She can run. Help her home. Five second penalty. It's a total of 23.75, 23.75. We're going to move now to a cowgirl that's currently fifth for the world. Two-time world champion, yes, Brittany Posey. Won the world twice, has been to the national finals nine times. She's won some big, big checks this year. Lives down in Victoria, Texas. Brittany Posey followed by Christina Richmond. And then Stacy Maxfield. Yes, Palomino horse can run. Turquoise leg wrap. Boy, I'm telling you. Fluorescent colors. Oh, 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 oh. And you won't see that happen to this cowgirl. Very doggone dolphin. That horse just was heck bent trying to get around that barrel on the wrong side. As right now, let's take her home, give her a round of applause. No time broke the course. No time broke the course. All right, let's go now to Christina Richmond, Glendora, California. Another cowgirl coming out of that Sierra, California circuit. Absolutely one of the best. Followed her will be Stacy Maxville. Once again, our thanks to Bonanza Motors. Outstanding Ram Rodeo for 2013. All right, cowgirl, come on in. She's not going to waste any time down the runway. We have seen her run at a lot of rodeos all over the West. This cowgirl is good. Scoots him into number two. And right now, one more to go from Glendora, California. Five-second penalty, 22-49. 2-2-4-9, her time. Gonna move us over now to the last cowgirl from Heber City, Utah. This will be Stacy Maxfield, Heber City, home of the Heber Creeper. Eighth in the Wilderness Circuit coming into this rodeo right now. Oh yeah, she's all set. Stacy Maxfield. Stacy, all you gotta do, all you gotta do is run a 17:45, and you'll be in the lead. It isn't gonna happen. Not tonight. Tough luck for that cowgirl on barrel one. Five second penalty, round number three, head for home. Stacy Maxfield. Time of consistent basis all over the United States. Let's watch her right now from Jerome, Timmy Likely, and then followed by Jody Sheffield of Ogden, Utah. Barrel well, racers at its best. Don't forget they're going to have the cash to turn and burn barrel race this Sunday, the 18th. Starting time, 9 o'clock, they'll barrel race at 12 after they have all the entries. So get ready. Timmy Likely coming in next. Timmy, a barrel racer from Jerome, but boy, I'll tell you what, living here in the Magic Valley, I don't think she's ever got all the accolades she deserves for the big rodeos that she's won the barrel racing at. Always a good job. Let's take her on home. Come on. Now, head for that finish line. And the time, 1747. Another one. Two in a row. Numbers must be stuck. Here we go, 1747. Two of them. Jody Sheffield of Ogden, Utah is next up. This cowgirl won here a year ago with a time of 17.18.
She's always had the top horses in this barrel racing event. She comes a running. She comes a running. Come on, audience. This is the horse. Might be deja vu all over again. Let's go to Shelby Blakes of Helena, Montana. Another tough cowgirl from the big sky country of Montana coming in. Shelby Blakes, then Mary Aller. Boy, oh boy, Jody Sheffield might make it two years in a row as the champion right here is Cassie County Farm Royal. 1734, really out in front. This gal girl from Helena, Montana, up in that big sky country, Shelby Blitz. Going to the right hand barrel first, into number two, nice and tight second barrel, that's where you save your time. She's around number three and headed to that finish line. Let it go. At a time, 1755, she's in the money. 1755, she's in the money. All right, from Pocatello, Idaho. Cowgirl that's been a long time barrel racer. Many, many championships, past circuit champion. Trains a lot of good barrel racing horses. This is Mary Aller of Pocatello, Idaho, coming in. Come on, Mary, get around number one. Scoot up from there. Come on, Grandstand, let's help her. From Pocatello, her husband Bill was a long time great bulldog here in our circuit. Let's get around number three and head for home. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. The time 1769. 1769. We're going to go down to Utah right now. Cowgirl that just won the college national finals on four runs. Wow. She really smoked them. This is Timmy Ward of Riverside, Utah. Went to the College of Southern Idaho. She's on a big horse called Smoke. Let's get her going. She had almost a wreck on number one. Now on run number two. Let's help her make up some time. And you know she's still with a bobble and almost a fall. Ran that in 1782 tonight. Let's give her a nice round of applause out here, would you? All right, Gail Howes, Batisco, Alberta, Canada, coming in, followed by Brady Howes. 1734 is out on top in our barrel racing. Don't forget that cash at turn and burn on Sunday. Right here, sign up at 9, run at 12. Here we go with some Canadian friends of ours from up at Alberta. Gail Howells knocks that first one over. That's going to cost her a five-second run out here. Add it on to her total time. And now one more to go. And tucks that left rein into that left turn. And heads for home. With the time, including the penalty, 22.83. 22.83, the total time. Brady Howe, again also from Disco, Alberta, Canada. Beautiful country up there. Lots of good cowboys and cowgirls. Come on, Brady. Thanks again to our friends at Bonanza and also the event sponsor, Coca-Cola. As our last cowgirls on the runway and coming in. Here she goes, Alberta, Canada, the Maple Leaf country, in the number one. Hey, this little horse has done this before a time or two. Let's see what she can do now. Get around number two. It's still standing. Come on, let's gas it in the fourth gear and overdrive. Right now, head for that timeline. Good looking big horse running for that finish line of the time, 1782. 1782. And ladies and gentlemen, that's going to wrap up our barrel racing. How about a hand for all of them? We saw the lead change, Jody Sheffield. Ogden, Utah with a 1734. How about it? Wild Bunch and everybody. Pay them all. Do it again. Let's watch and see what happens as this gal girl, Morgan Figueroa, comes right in. I can't hear the audience. Come on. Let's go to Christy Arrington, Gary Idaho, 
to the moon. Come on, Christine. Seventh in the world in a circuit right now. She's had a good horse. She's had a good run all summer long. Let's help her. Come on, Christy Yarenka. In the turn number one audience for the Grandstand Center over here. Everybody over in the Wild Bunch Center. Now we're Second penalty for a barrel knocked over. That's going to put her out of the money. But we can go ahead and tell her thank you just the same. Oh, my. A 22-32 with the penalty. 22-32. Let's move on down to the next gal girl, Andrea Jones. Twin Falls, Idaho. Is she here? I believe so. Andrea Jones, Twin Falls, Idaho. Our next barrel racer. Coca-Cola, our sponsoring event. Don't forget the cash at Turn and Burn this Sunday, tomorrow. They're going to run at noon. Here comes Andrea. Oh, yeah. Into number two. Let's get her down to number three. I can't hear the audience. Come on. But it's over now to a cowgirl, Cindy Smith from Hobbs, New Mexico, out of that Roadrunner state. Her number one horse was injured a couple of weeks ago. She had to run back down to Hobbs, grab another one that's in training. She says, I'm on a youngster out here tonight. We'll see what happens. Cindy Smith, Hobbs, New Mexico is our next cowgirl. This little lady says, this horse getting used to all the bright lights in the big city and all the crowds and the applause and the flashing bulbs and everything. Let's see what she can get down out here tonight. Come on, let's help her around number two. Come on, Cindy, dig in. Number two, Barrel's history. Shoot on down to number three. Right now, the old turn the trainer taking home. Let's go. 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 let us We've got an addition to the program, a young lady from Garland, USA, Chesty Randallette. Here comes Chesty. A real world champion. And Chesty, if you fall off, fall on your face, you will not get hurt. Look at this. Chesty's going to lose an eye. It's big. Coming up on the board, 
Ray Benton the third, Rock Island, Texas. What have you got down there? Score keep sending it up on the board. 78, 78, our first ball out of the night. Second for the world right now. Trying to get back into that number one spot. Cody Teal, counts Texas. And the score's on the way, and we have a total of 83 tonight! Let's watch and see what happens right here. Look out, look out, look out, come on, Cowboys! And we'll look to our judges, and they're going to give him a re-ride. They'll give him a re-ride. That pull fell out in the arena, so they'll give him a chance to have a chance for the equal money. We'll give him an opportunity later on with a rerun. He's ready. He's not going to push it. Here we go. go. Ladies and gentlemen, 80! 
to regain his balance. Cool with the court win that matchup. Well, let's give a nice hand to Steve Woolsey just the same, if you would please. Cowboy out of pace in Utah, heads out over his eyes, about ready to have that left hand. He says, okay boys, let me outside, let me outside. With no cigar, the judges have got the stopwatch right there in the arena. Ladies and gentlemen, the nice hand for the world coming in here to the Cache County Fair and Rodeo. He says, let me have him outside tonight. Come on, Chris. Whoa, look at that recovery. And out the back door, look out. You know, Ronnie, he was a hustler to get back in the driver's seat there. I know, that's a powerful move. You are just a kid, man. Chris Roundy, no score out here this evening. Folks, again, I ask you to pay him off with a round of applause. We've had some good ones. First initial shot coming out of that gate. Here he goes. Man, he just didn't have the track set for him tonight. And he's going to hit the dirt. Cash Boosman's going to get only what you decide to pay him with. Be generous, please. No score. Against the guy that's in the top ten for the wilderness circuit right now. Come you on, tell me, here we go. Tag Elliott. All the middle two is going to come. Tag Elliott. Man, did he give it a try? Well, a bunch of everybody. South Hunter, give that young man. Tag Elliott a nice hand. Wow. The here we go. Both riders up the gate. He's going to tag him. Right there. He goes. Again, right there, telling that bull rider run in a circle and get out of the way. Brock Burns, no score. Garden Valley, Idaho is where he hangs his hat. Let's see what he can get done out here tonight. Come on. Turn the crank. Let's go. Let's have it. Let's have it. Come on, audience. Have it. 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 Have and we'll check everything with our judges down below to see what they have to say about it. Is this event sponsored by the Pit Stop Grill? Here comes one scorekeeper, here comes the other one. They're holding it up right now. Let's see what we got on the board. 66, 66 for Jet Jones. 66, 83 is in second place by another world champion, Cody Deal. Look out, look out, look out, help us get out. Another piece of real estate, and our bull fighters are right there. Yeah, nice job, bull fighters. Absolutely perfect. Perfect. Right, we just received word that Cody Ride won over 1,780 bucks winning the Bronx Ride right here. That's really nice one, dude. Watch out, here comes Garrett. Garrett, come on, Garrett. Come on, Garrett. See what they're going to tack on for points. We've got a total of 72. 72 for Garrett Smith out here tonight. Oh, was there. <laughs> there is right that you were. I was. The last stampede. Here we go. All right, here we go. Look out. Man, look at the clown staffers on that one. Kind of a big smoke-colored bull. Let's give that kid a nice hand for the try. Travis Miller, Brogan Oregon. He gave it a try. He gave it a try. His daddy's proud of him. His granddaddy's proud of him. The whole family proud of him. Let's see what he can get done. He got a money check here last year. Come on, Montana. Live. Everybody in the stands cheering for him tonight. Come on. Come on. Good young man. Nice young man. Scores out of the way. He went out that way, but whoop, 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 whoop. And then he turned the hands on the clock. And let's see what we got on the scoreboard tonight. It's going to be a 68. 68 for Montana Barlow. 6'8. 